This is a sadder kind of story. I wish it were made up, but unfortunately, it's not. Unfortunately, it's also not unique. The house should be the safest place for the kids and for the adults too. But sadly, domestic violence happens every day, whether it's husbands beating their wives or parents beating their kids. Schools are often the first to notice that a child is being abused at home. When an 11-year-old student gave the teacher a note one day at school, the teacher knew right away that something was wrong. The letter turned out to be the girl's mother's plea for help. In November of last year, the event took place in Louisiana, USA. A man who was 27 years old held his girlfriend and her 11-year-old daughter prisoner in his home. CNN says that the man's daughter had just left his trailer to go to school. The mother was not allowed to leave for a few weeks until she decided to give her daughter a handwritten note that she could show to the teacher. It went as planned. The letter didn't exactly say what was in it, but the mother said she needed help and she couldn't use the phone or leave the house. The teacher at East Feliciana Middle School called the police as soon as she read the letter. They took care of the girl. Soon after that, the police went to the family's house, but no one answered. The mother's boyfriend made her stay quiet, so the police left the scene. But luckily, they took the mother's letter seriously and it wasn't long before they came back with a search warrant. When they broke into the house, the boyfriend was hiding in a closet. The police had met him before. The mother wasn't hurt, but she didn't leave the house by herself because she was afraid. After being arrested, she was finally able to leave home and see her daughter again. The boyfriend is now being charged with abuse and detention. I'm glad the mother was smart enough to slip that letter to her daughter because if she hadn't, who knows how the story would have ended. The letter was a way of asking for help. The second warning could have been a lot harder to spot. If you ever think a parent or child in your neighborhood is being abused, you should act right away. Call the police, social services, or the school to find out what's going on. It's better to do something than to do nothing.